right, so here I'm sampling with some larger pieces, um, like 7 sixteenths nuts or something. I'm gonna hit the sample size, it tells me to add five pieces, put the five pieces on, and count. Fill them up like normal. Now if we come along with a smaller, smaller piece, with these little guys here, we'll do the same process, add five, press count, it'll say add 50 more because it's such a small piece. Instead of doing counting to 50, we can go to a smaller scale, add five pieces and press count. It sends the information to this scale and now we can count the bulk on here if it's too much for the 11 pound capacity. We can also, if we have even larger pieces, we can switch to the remote scale and count on this. Now you see there's a little bit of fluctuation because even this large scale is probably a little too uh, much capacity for something this small, but with another piece, you'll still be uh, accurate. You're gonna see one or two pieces off on the variation on this one. And the key is what's happening is this scale is more accurate than this scale, this scale is more accurate than this scale. The key to accuracy is capturing the average piece weight for the part itself. So if you have a really good average piece weight, you're gonna be much more accurate. Even if you're off one or two counts, if you're off one or two percent, you could be off hundreds of pieces. So that's why the three scale system tends to work nicely together.